ho, 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 ho. Bluebird day, boys and girls. What's going on? I'm Mark Freeman 408. How are you? Sun's out, guns out. When the sun comes out, especially this time of year, I get jacked up. So I'm usually always jacked up, especially when I see a squirrel. Squirrel. Anyways, yep, still got the 2020. Should I buy a 2020, 21? 2020, 2020, 2021. Um, yeah, so we had a ton of snow yesterday. Well, not a ton of snow, but like enough, as you can see. And then some freezing rain after, so it kind of crisp it up a little bit still powdery underneath as you can see but she's good to go so i got the call friday maverick's done 750 bucks tax right off so got some uh, new wheel bearings and my whole braking system fix after i head on that uh, wheelie ramp the other day and ripped off my brakes so whoops but what are you gonna do you gotta pay to play right so yeah oh i'm out of breath talking so much Anyways, head down to Cortland. I was hoping the roads would be dry. They are still really wet, so that kind of sucks because they don't have an enclosed trailer. So you can see here, but I'll bring the Maverick back. I'm going to rinse it off right away, get all the salt off it so nothing corrodes. And then, uh, yeah, Jay should be over. So we're going to have a day and a quarter here. I'm excited. And then we get the shredder back this weekend. Now I'm trying to fix the other one too. I'm hoping it's just a battery. Uh, the battery's just fried on it. It's old. And uh, I need to put, I ordered a trickle charger too. So it will stay charged because that battery is definitely too small for that giant rotary engine. And uh, it takes a lot of cranking power. So I'm gonna put a trickle charger on a bigger battery and uh, hopefully she'll be good to go. Anyways, let's jump in the truck, head down to Cortland and go pick up the mouth. So nice out today. Made her to lock carts. There she is. No one stole it. Lock at her. Hey, and I finally got a new axle to put on the front. I've been running three, three uh, rhino axles in one stalker. This one is looking like she's done. So it looks like they fixed everything here. I don't know if they put new brake lines on or just crimped around the end there, but. Looks good to go. What else? Oh yeah, new new rear wheel bearings. Feels a little tighter now. A little more gooder. Yeah, Freeman. Must be me. Keys in it. I can steal it and get out of here. Oh, let's get after it. <laughs> Drop her down, get out of here. And we are back. This thing actually stayed fairly clean. I only went through a couple puddles. The road was fairly dry on the way back, which was nice because I hate when, you know, your toys get covered in salt. Because we all know what salt does to vehicles. Ruins everything. Rusts it. Corrodes it. Oh, ho, ho! We got Razor J. Why did you want this? I don't need a bike seat. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just a grinder. Ugh. World of difference with that muffler, eh? Looks 
good. All right, let's back this thing off. Oh, someone adjust my damn seat. There must have been a short guy driving it. Putting ramps in or what? No ramps? Warmer up. Stay though. Right here? Oh yeah. We got tons of room. We need a bit more room. It slides. There's too many obstacles in the way. Send down a track over the ramp. Let's go. Some nice fresh snow. You doing some donuts? Yeah, I'm gonna try. You can get your belt on. There's no oh, yeah. room in here. I'm trying to pull my GoPro out of my <laughs> pocket. Pull a rabbit out of my ass. There you go. All right, I'll try not to run you over. Okay. No promises though. I'll keep an eye out. Yeah.
my hands are freezing. It's been what, three minutes? He's cold out. Can't complain though. Thing looks good in the snow. You know what's nice about snow, Jay? You don't have to wash it off after. Mud, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it cleans itself. Look, even the groomer's been by. I know, look at that. Groom trail. It is nice and packed right here, though. Yeah, I think they're just knocking a lot of stuff down because the, the field's still fairly bare. Yeah. But, uh, anyways, Ty, uh, Ty did some camping down here on the weekend. He had his fifth wheel, and his fifth wheel is still down there. Definitely not making it up this hill. So he's going to uh, clean out all the snow and then throw some sand and gravel down and hopefully pull her out. Got some homeschooling going on in there. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe Scott almost slid into the ditch that one time. I, I don't know how he didn't do that. Like, his tracks are over the ditch. <laughs> yeah. So big fifth wheel semi racing trailer. He tried to U-turn it. And he ended up almost sliding into the ditch. Luckily, someone, some random, dumped some fill here, which we were a little pissed off at, but it ended up helping us in the end. <laughs> well, helping Scott at least. Look at that, nice smooth trail. Yeah, literally like, rear tires were here. Yeah, this is where his rear tires went. Right here. Well, yeah, you can see it went right across here. So he would have just fell and hit that tree anyway. him to build us a racetrack. I know. There's a bit of snow down here. Yeah. A lot more than I thought. You need the blade for that thing. You need to uh, stud the tracks on that thing. Yeah. How sick would this be studded? Hey, stud up the razor, go hit a lake somewhere. I'd be in for that. Uh, one day. One day. You got spare rims, don't you? No, not, not anymore. Oh, you got rid of them? Well, we oh, need... no, I do have, I have my mud tires. Yeah, there you go. We'll just stud them up next time. Where's he going? <laughs> uh, oh, don't be sliding into the ditch. Skid steers are the best machine for everything. Especially if you have a motocross guy. All right, let's head up and uh, weld up those targets. driveway probably should have put up some markers <laughs> oops <clears throat> anyways got the old drone here got my seatbelt beeper going off you done okay i smashed off one of the blades i dropped it so i need them to send me some hardware usually they just click on but how it fell i broke off the whole clip too so i'm just gonna park this right here give the maverick a little rinse just from if it got any salt when I did bring it home there. And uh, give the trailer a quick rinse too. And then we're, oh, 
the peeler the diesel peeler he's drifting <laughs> Oh, that's flagpole. <laughs> Easy. Oh, that's. <laughs> I mean, I don't care about my trailer, but I care about that truck. Ooh. It's fun doing donuts, but your rims fill up with snow and then your truck shakes all the way on. Anyways, yeah, just knock some, uh, if we got any road salt on there, we'll knock that off, clean off this trailer. What happened? Stop. Oh, you want me to push you? There you go. So we're going to weld up the targets we had welded up before that we blew apart. And uh, yeah, we'll rinse this off and get after it. Keep this day going. It's absolutely beautiful out. You got to enjoy these days, guys, because there's not a ton of them in the winter not many bluebird days so if it's sunny outside wherever you are finish this video and go outside and enjoy it take in that sun all right let's wash this thing Jay's in there, working on our target, getting her grinded and welded up. Hey, yeah, clean this thing off. And the trailer, and my truck. She's gonna be one big old block of ice. Funny how fast it freezes. It's only about minus four today. Clean machine. Wash the salt off, kids. Your stuff will last longer. And put, put graphics on it, too. That'll make it last longer, too. Make it look better. All right, let's unload her. I'll wrap this one up. This thing's just a block of ice now. Good thing I store it inside. Oh, yeah! Take her off. Welding away. Let's weld these plates. So the issue... Did you just weld it to that? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm sick of holding it. Oh. I said I can turn it whenever I want. So the issue was we were blowing right through these plates. Not this side, but you can see how it's bubbled up and flip her over. So yeah, we blew right through that one, so. Weld her together so nothing can blow through it. I'm trying. I don't know how well it's gonna hold, but. And then we're gonna uh, hang everything by chains. So, mm -hmm. so it uh, gives a little release so it doesn't blow off this again. Yeah. There's a bullet hole there. That's crazy. But yeah, and these, these we're gonna weld on an angle so when it hits them, it just, they deflect off, right? Or else you just destroy the target right away. Here's the other piece. Blew through there pretty good. So, anyways, that's about her. That's a day, day in a nutshell here. This is that shaker tube that I got from Princess Auto. Just put it in your gas tank, shake it, or in any tank, and it siphons it out. Very handy. 
just keeping your truck or side by side in case you need some gas, light a fire or whatever. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you buy yourself a Ford or a Chevy. I'd say Ford. Jay would say Chevy, but you know, you be you. So sun shining, get outside and enjoy it. Uh, yeah, just get outside and enjoy it anyway. I watched cable for the first time the other day. And uh, obviously all the news channels, I was cruising through there and it was the most depressing thing I've ever seen. So it's been about a year since I've watched the news, since it all started. So now I'm probably gonna go another year without watching it because I would rather be outside enjoying my life, breathing in clean air instead of that, uh, whatever you wanna call it, a bunch of depressing crap on the, on the TV. So anyways, you guys be you, do what you want, but I'm going to be over here sending it as always. Thank you guys. Have a fantastic day. I will see you later.